Hi, my name is Rainer Stropek from Software Architects and I would like to demonstrate you the reporting services integration of the latest Time Cockpit release. To demonstrate this feature I go to the management area and take a look at a list of invoices. Here we see a revenue statistics based on customer and project. We could change that, summarize only by customer, collapse it. So we have the typical analytic features that you might know, might already know from Time Cockpit. What we have added in one of the previous releases of Time Cockpit is a print view feature. So you can hit print view here and you will see the data that you have just seen in the interactive list in a nicely formatted printable way. You could print this report, you can turn it to PDF or you can also export it to Microsoft Excel. Let's do that. Here it is in Excel and note that you still have the possibility to collapse the data to get a more overviewed uh, view of, the, uh, of your report here. In the past you could already set some basic um, customization options here on the left hand side such as the title of the report, the font family and things like that but you had no possibility to add advanced reporting things like for instance charts or cross tabs and things like that. And this is what we added to the latest version of Time Cockpit. We can, if we want, download the report definition. It is a Microsoft SQL Server reporting services report definition file, an RDL file as you can see, and I store it for instance here on my desktop under the name Outgoing Invoice Statistics. Yeah, I can overwrite this previously created sample. Now I open this report using the Microsoft SQL Server Report Builder. This tool is available to download from the Microsoft website. Now we have two possibilities. We could either change the report definition that Time Cockpit has exported for us or we can remove the different areas here and this is what I want to do in this sample and build a brand new report area from scratch. On the left hand side you see one data set and this is the list from which we started, so the revenue list and we can now add some um, charts and tables and things like that to our reports. This is the footer if you need some page numbering, this is the header if you need some page headers, but we are going to work inside of this body area here. Let's do the following. Let's build a report that shows a summary data, the revenue per project and customer, and let's display a trend line for the revenue over the last few periods in our report. For this purpose I add a list here to give the report a basic structure. And this list, I'm going to connect this list with our data set. Here it is. And I'm also going to group this list by customer. Because I want to have the basic customer information inside of this list. The next thing is I want to add a table. I want to view the total revenue per project inside of this custom area. For this I use the table wizard. In this table wizard I select my data set, hit next, use the project for our row groups, use the revenue for our values, tell the system that I want to have the sum of the revenue and now I can change the layout. The layout is okay for me Let's use the generic layout because I want to do manual formatting and let's move this here into our resulting grid. Let's make the first column, the project name column, a little bit wider. Same for the revenue. Let's move this on the right hand side. Use the currency formatting and add some colors. For instance, a background color. Here we have the background color and the total, the sum should also have a background color. Yep, let's use this one. Now oh, that sounds, that looks good. I save this report definition, switch back to Time Cockpit, and now in Time Cockpit, as an administrator, I could load this report definition here. Let's take the outgoing invoice statistic that we have just created, hit open, and we see 
the basic format of the report just as we just created it. You see the different projects per customer and so on. Well, it still needs our report still needs some love, and we will do that. So I go I'll go back to our uh, reporting services and maybe make it a little bit smaller and add the customer name here on top and something like this. Larger, change the expression here. I want to have the customer name in this area. Oops, I didn't do a double click. Now the customer name sounds good. Save it, go back to Time Cockpit, hit refresh, and yeah, our report looks much better. So you see, it wasn't difficult to start from an from an interactive list in Time Cockpit, export it to RDL, and use Microsoft's reporting services tool to build a brand new report layout. Now, on the right hand side, we have some space here, and it would, wouldn't it be nice to have a chart here, a trend line of the revenue? Let's add this in reporting services. For this, I go to insert, and in this case, I add a chart with the chart wizard. Again, I connect it with the data set that Time Cockpit has created use the line here and in this case I want to have the periods and the revenue and the revenue should be summed up next let's use again the generic format we want to do our formatting ourselves move this chart to the correct location maybe give it, give it a little bit more space we don't need the legend here we also don't need the axis title and the chart, we know that this is a revenue statistics and give this a little bit more width, something like this. Looks good, save it, go back to Time Cockpit and hit refresh. And here we are. We have the revenue chart and of course we can now spend a little bit more time to add advanced formatting and things like that, but I'm sure you can imagine how this could work in your concrete situation. Please note that this RDL customization is currently in preview, so it's only available inside of Time Cockpit's full client and is only available for administrators. However, if you are an administrator of an existing Time Cockpit account, you can start to create your reports today. In the next version that will come at the beginning of April, you will be able to take your RDL files and upload them in your Time Cockpit database. And when you have uploaded it in the Time Cockpit database, every user who has the, the permission to run the list will be able to use the report definition that you have created and use it to export the data, to create PDF or to print it if the user wants to have it. We hope that you like this feature and we are looking forward to receive your feedback about the new reporting services integration in Time Cockpit. Thank you for watching.